fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Faster, boy, faster! I'll Silver! Boy! Along a narrow crevasse banked by steep mountain slopes, three horsemen rode. The sun beat down on the rocky trail and glinted from the silver hoofs of a white stallion whose rider, tall and bronzed, wore a black mask and six guns within easy reach of his lean, strong fingers. Close behind him rode an Indian, dressed in buckskin, and a boy. They were the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Dan Reed, the masked man's 14-year-old nephew. Steady, Silver. Golly, this trail is treacherous. Ah, we haven't much farther to go. The crevasse ends just beyond that bend, and the trail breaks across Green Valley. Green Valley? Well, that's where we're heading. Well, Lazy Bee Ranch. Yes, Dan. We'll be able to see the ranch from that ridge. What we do there? I don't know yet, Tonto. Jeff Holland's note only said that he needed our help. Uh-huh. Is he the owner of the ranch? Yes, and an old friend. Tonto and I knew him years ago when he was a cowpuncher. Ah, uh-huh. him richest cattleman in country now. Gosh, the Lazy Bee must be some ranch. Yes, I... What is it, Silver? You look ahead on trail. Well, it looks like a man, like he's been shot. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Get up here, boy. Bring the canteen, Dan. You bet. I don't. I don't. Look. Uh, but it's just a dummy. Blanket stuffed inside a man's clothes. Oh, uh, that's strange. Oh, golly, why would anybody want to... Outlaws. There they are up on the slopes. I'm behind the rocks on both sides of the trail. Back to the horses, quick. Right ahead, I'll cover you. We'll all fight it out from here. There are too many of them. Hurry, Dan. Get him up, to us, Silver. All right, big fellow. Come on, Silver. Are you all right? Yes, then. Outlaws, that dummy is part of trap. They wanted us off our horses so we'd make easy targets. Ah, uh, trap. Well planned. Then make sure they're not shelter for us anywhere. Why would they want to ambush us? We'll know more about that when we reach the ranch. Come on, Silver. <laughs> Silver. 
Meanwhile, at the Lazy Bee Ranch, Peggy Hollins, the rancher's pretty daughter, was tightening the cinch on her saddle of Sandy, the handsome but high-strung new mare her father had bought for her birthday. Uh, hold still, Sandy. I'm almost finished. <laughs> Oh, steady, girl. There's nothing to be afraid of. Well, let me tighten that cinch for you, Miss Peggy. Put down, Sandy. No one's going to hurt you. Quiet now, quiet, girl. I told you never to come near this mare again, Flint. No sense in getting mad. I only want to help. I don't need your kind of help. And neither does Sandy. You almost broke her spirit when Dad brought her here. Now she's afraid whenever you're around. Oh, steady, Sandy, quiet. Sorry if I've offended you, Miss Peggy. Oh, uh, there's a dance in town Saturday night. If you'd go with me, I'd... No. Get... You don't like me, is that it? I'm trying to make it as clear as I can. Maybe if I had money in a ranch like your paws, you'd change your tune. It's got nothing to do with it. Dad thinks you're a good foreman, though I don't know why. What do you mean by that? It seems to me a good foreman would find a way to stop the outlaws who are rustling our steers. Five hundred more were stolen last week. And if this keeps up, Dad will be wiped out. Well, I'm doing the best I can. Well, your best isn't good enough. If you don't put a stop to the rustling soon, Flint, I'm going to speak to Dad about a new foreman. Come on, Sandy. Get up, girl. New foreman, huh? A couple of months, your pa won't be able to afford a foreman or anything else. When that happens, I'll be here to take over the ranch. Maybe then you won't be so high and mighty. There's somebody coming. Peace. Oh, oh, there. Oh, boy. Oh, steady there. Steady. Didn't I tell you to never show yourself around the ranch? You want to spill the whole game? I had it come, Flint. Find that fence where nobody would see you. Now, what's so important? Lone Ranger. He got away. What do you mean? Just what I said. He got through the crevasse without a scratch. Saved the engine and the kid, too. Oh, you blundering fool. That trap I laid was tight as a drum. All you had to do was riddle him from the slopes. Yeah, it sounded slick enough, but there are a couple of things about the masked man you overlooked. His horse and the way he handles his gun. I don't savvy. He winged three of my men with the engine and the kid hightailed it. Then that white horse of his lit out after him like a streak. <laughs> Never saw such fancy shooting and riding in my life. Well, we didn't have a chance to riddle him. Yeah, that hombre spells trouble. That's why I planned that trap when Jeff Hollins told me he'd sent for the Lone Ranger to investigate the rustling. I'll take care of him yet. Well, you'd better work fast. They'll be here any minute. I'd beat him by taking the shortcut. You boys all set for tonight? Oh, yeah. How many steers are there in the pack? Five hundred. Cut them out of the herd myself and put them in the north pasture. You won't be bothered with many guards, so make sure there's no slippers. <laughs> there haven't been yet. Don't worry. We'll make them cows disappear without a trace. Same as always. Look, three horsemen heading this way. What's well, them? The Lone Ranger, the engine, and the kid. Get moving. I don't want to see you here. <laughs> you better take care of them. Well, that masked hombre will take care of us. Get up there, horse. Get up, horse. Take care of them. Next time, it'll be for keeps. It was dusk when three men, a girl and a boy, reined in their horses on the bank of a stream which marked the western boundary of the Lazy Bee Ranch. They were Jeff Hollins, owner of the ranch, his daughter Peggy... And the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Dan. Well, there they are, cattle tracks. Hundreds of them. All going into that stream. But nary a one of them coming out. I see. We've searched both banks for miles in each direction, but we haven't found a single clue as to where the steers left the water. Gosh, that's funny. All that stock cattle just vanished into thin air. Uh-huh. I've lost 5,000 head in three months. I've got to get them back or sell the ranch. Oh, Dad, you didn't tell me it was that bad. Well, I didn't want to worry you, Piggy. Do the steers always enter the water at this point? Well, as far as I've been able to discover. The rustlers must have a reason for that. A reason connected with the opposite shore. Well, we've looked there after every raid. There isn't a trace of the cattle. Well, they'd be loco to run the steers out there. Where would they take them? That cliff on the opposite bank would cut off their escape 50 feet from the water's edge. Let's have a closer look. Come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. All right. Easy there. It's a lot taller than it looked across the stream. Ah, it's plenty steep, too. I can't see the rock for the scrubs and vines. (laughs) 
Like it's wearing a false face. False face. Oh, it's so dark now, we won't be able to see cattle tracks, even if there are any. Yes, we'd better give up now and start fresh in the morning. Listen. Oh, rustlers. Well, they're after more of the herd. They're in the north pasture. Oh, the guards are fighting them. Dad, they're so few, they'll be killed. Stay behind, Dan. Come on, Silver. Stay with Dan, Peggy. But Dad, I can handle a gun. You do as I say. Hit him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. <laughs> Guards are putting up a step of fight than I expected, Ace. Yeah, don't worry, Flint. There's only a few. The boys will kill them when they stampede the steers. Hey, it's a lone ranger. He's heading this way. Stay down, you fool. Oh. One of the guards winged me. Yeah, you gave him an easy target. Moving out from behind a brush like that. Me, Call off your boys. we got to get out of here. That man's down. We may have the ranchers with him. Leave them steers. Head for the hideout. Get up there, boy. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. What about you, Flint? You ain't supposed to be anywhere near the north pasture tonight. How are you going to explain that gun wound to Harlan? Nah, I'll ride to the hideout with you. You got to think of something. Well, let's go with that. Hide, tail it, boy! Get up there, boy! Whipping their mounts feverishly, the outlaws put the herd between them and the Lone Ranger Tonto and Jeff Hollins. Then, unaware, they far outnumbered the masked man and his friends who remained behind to care for the wounded cattle guards. The rustlers raced for the mountain stream. As they neared their goal, they suddenly saw a girl and a young boy slowly riding toward them. That's Peggy Hollins and the kid who travels with the Lone Ranger. Grab him! Don't let him get away! Corral them two boys! Poor Dan! This way, Peggy! No, you don't! Oh, oh, I got it! Go oh, there! Study there! Oh. That's a ticket. Flint! <laughs> yeah. You're the one who's been stealing our stock? Well, you low-down coyote! Get up! I give the orders around here. What'll we do with them, Flint? Take them to the hideout. I've got an idea not only to explain this gun wound, but trap the Lone Ranger and the engine as well. <laughs> Sometime later, the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Jeff Hollins, scouting the ranch for the missing Peggy and Dan, saw a lone horseman approach in the gloom of the night and suddenly slide from his mount to the ground. Oh, Silver, oh, boy, oh, scout, oh, scout, oh, oh. Well, it's Flint, my ranch foreman. Steady, Silver. He's been wounded in the water, Tonto. Ah, me bring it. Here. <laughs> needed that drink. What happened? I, I was riding down in the stream when I, when I saw the rustlers heading that way. They they caught Miss Peggy and the kid. Captured my daughter? Yeah, I, I trailed them, figured I'd find their hideout, but after I'd followed them some ways, they, they saw me and gave me this slug. I, I had to turn back. Can you describe the trail? No. It was too dark to make note of any landmarks, but I can find the trail myself. I see. Mom will be fixed well enough for me to travel in the morning. I'll take you toward the hideout. We're the ornery skunks kidnapping my daughter, huh? We'll show them, we'll take along a posse and blow them to kingdom come. No, no, that won't do, Mr. Holmes. You see, the trail leads through open country. Posse would be sure to be seen. But the Lone Ranger and Tano could get through and size up the situation. Uh, I reckon you're right. But my daughter's in danger, Flint, and I aim to ride with them. We'll start first thing in the morning. And make sure you don't lose the way. I won't lose the way. The next day, Flint led the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Jeff on the fake trail of the outlaws. You sure this is the trail, Flint? Yeah, this is it. Right around that bend up ahead is where they gunned me. Kimasabi, me not like Flint. Me not trust him. All right, Tonto. The rustlers did ride over this path last night. They didn't leave tracks. Mm, that right. Here's the bend. Ready boys. Let them have it. It's an ambush. Uh -huh. Don't give them a chance, boys. Come on, ride them down. falls on the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. Racing from behind the sagebrush where they'd been waiting, the outlaws encircled the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and their rancher friend, and pressed in from all sides. Against the rustlers' overwhelming odds, the three defenders fought fiercely, but even their flailing fists could not withstand the renegades for long. There's too many for us, Tonto! Uh, Close in! Drag them off the horses! Line them down! Let them, Silver! Let's get you! Look out! Let them, big fellow! Oh! At that moment, a gun butt fell on the masked man's head with stunning force. Reeling, half-conscious, in a blinding flash of pain and darkness, the Lone Ranger instinctively gripped the horn of his saddle and hung on. The mighty Silver reared with rage at the fate of his master, and his hoofs splashed with increasing fury, while Flint and several others held Tonto and Jeff Hollins. Hey, wait up, you engineers. Jeff Hollins, too. Hurry up and corral that mask. Hey, hey, right. Hang on to them. This horse is a fighting fool. Fall back. Drill the Lone Ranger. Get out of that horse's way, boys. When he starts rearing, riddle the mask man. <laughs> you not shoot him. Get him up, Silver. Get him up. Drill him. That horse is running away. Let him have it, boys. Shoot him off the horse's back. <laughs> They're getting away. Chase him. Oh, we ain't a chance of catching him now, Flint. That horse is about the fastest thing on legs. Oh, blessed him. The Lone Ranger ain't cheating Boot Hill that easy. Yeah, well, what can we do? I'll show you. Tie up the engine and Jeff Hollins. We'll deal the masked man a new hand. A short distance down the trail in the opposite direction taken by Silver and his half-conscious master, the outlaws reined in their horses. Before them was an ominous-looking grass-covered patch between mountainous boulders. Oh, 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 oh. What are we stopping here for, Flint? See that grass patch? Yeah, I see it. Innocent looking, ain't it? Like it might be just a regular patch of prairie grass. But it ain't. Hand me that rock. <coughs> what are you aiming to do with it? I'm going to toss it at that patch. I want to show the engine and Jeff a little surprise we've got for him. Watch. Well, it, it sank right into the ground. <laughs> yeah, just like Jeff and the Redskin are going to sink. Quicksand. You said it, quicksand. A mud bath for both of you, over your heads. <laughs> this is one time the dead will bury themselves. Uh, you not give us fighting chance. Oh, you yellow-livered polecats, cut these ropes around our wrists and let us go down like men. Maybe we'd better put a couple of slugs in them, Flint, and be done with it. The Lone Ranger will be on our trail as soon as he gets his full senses. <laughs> That's what I want him to do. Well, what do you mean? As soon as he gets over the effects of that blow, he'll ride after us. So is to free his friends. You'll see that you get what's coming to you, Flint. You're a little mixed up, Jeff. This time the masked armory will get what's coming to him. Yeah, I don't savvy. What's the quicksand? When the Lone Ranger spots his friends in that muck, he'll have to work fast to get them free before they sink. Yeah. But while he's doing it, we'll hide with the boys behind them boulders and pick them off. <laughs> you think you're everything, don't you, Flint? <laughs> Whip up them horses, boys. Oh, you don't aim to drown the horses, too. Yeah, sure. Well, them's fine horses. The paint the engine's running is almost as fast as a masked man stallion. I figured on claiming it for myself. Don't be a fool. You're putting your neck in a hang noose by riding that horse. I reckon there ain't a lawman in these parts who don't know it belongs to the Lone Ranger sidekick. Jeff's horse is too well known around here to meddle with, too. Reckon you're right. Whip up them horses. Run them into the sink. Oh, you low-down skunks, you can't... Shut up! That's it, boys. Crowd them two in the quicksand. There they go. <laughs> They're plumb in the center of it, Ace. Yeah. Them horses are in almost up to their knees. They're safe till they sink. Meanwhile, they'll decoy the Lone Range into a death trap. Fan out behind them boulders, boys. As the outlaws concealed themselves, the soft, oozing mire of the quicksand gripped the horses of Tonto and Jeff Hollins even more firmly. Slowly but surely, the bog reached their knees. Strain as the two horses would to release themselves and their riders from the prairie's most horrible death. Then, suddenly, the renegades heard a shot. And saw the masked figure of the Lone Ranger sitting astride silver on a rocky slope above them, his six guns smoking. He's tricked us, Ace. Come him, boys. Drill him down. You last one. Oh, you wing me. We can't fight him from here, Ace. We can't take cover. Yeah, we're right in his line of fire. He can get us whenever he wants. Hi, tail it, boys. Head for the hideout. Yeah, there's one thing, Flint. He's too late to save his friend. Yeah, they're in too deep. Get up there, horse. Get up there, boy. Get up there.
Saddle with this rope, Silver may be able to pull you out. Uh, me savvy. It's a long trip. It's our only one. Here goes. Uh, you loop saddle horn. Let's hope the rope is strong enough. Uh, it's got to be strong enough. Pull, Silver. Straining against the rope, which the Lone Ranger hooked around his own saddle horn, the great horse Silver struggled to drag Scout and Tonto free of the quicksand which held them. After many tense moments, during which it seemed the rope might snap, the Indian and Jeff Hollins saw that the quicksand was yielding. The muscular stallion's powerful efforts were pulling Tonto and Scout across the bog to firm footing. Good boy, Silver. Uh, him pull us out, Scout. Come on, big fella. Silver trotted back as Scout scrambled to firm footing, carrying Tonto with him. Then the Lone Ranger spun his lariat again and expertly looped it about the horn of Jeff Holland's saddle. Tonto's rope followed suit. For the rancher and his horse had sunk deep into the treacherous mire. It took the combined strength of both Silver and Scout to overcome the resistance of the quicksand. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Hurry. I'm sinking fast. Pull, Silver. Hurry, Scout. That's it. I'm pulling free. Pull hard, Silver. Scout, pull free. That does it. You pull me clear. <laughs> That afternoon, the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Jeff reined in their horses on the bank of a stream, not far from a steep cliff, latticed with scrubs and vines. They dismounted and peered intently at the ground. The outlaw's tracks end at the edge of this clearing. Ah. Then they vanish completely. Just like them cow tracks end at the water's edge. We need a trace of them from then on. The solution to the mystery is somewhere near this cliff. Maybe cliff, no answer. Perhaps if we... What in thunder is that? Sound come from cliff. Hide the horses behind this brush. Ah. Suffering snakes. Them renegades are raising a door right out of the cliff wall. Yes, a door cleverly disguised with scrub and vines to resemble the rest of the wall. No wonder you never noticed it, Jeff. Ah, them lift door on pulleys. Look, the door hides the mouth of a tunnel. That may be how rustlers escape with cattle. It seems that way. Some of the gang are coming out. What in tarnation are they doing? Ah, you look there. Them unrolled tarpaulin. I see. Oh, that tarpaulin must be 50 feet. Long enough to reach from the tunnel to the water's edge. That reason tracks end at water and clearing. Yes. By driving the cattle and their horses over it, they were able to conceal the fact that their tracks led to the cliff. Why, the ornery crooks. You've seen how the door is open, Jeff. You're darn tootin' I have. Ride to town. Get the sheriff to lead a posse against the rustlers. You, you two stay in here? Until nightfall. Then we'll go after Peggy and Dan. I'll be back with enough men to blast that hole wide open. Get up, horse. shadows of night settled over the clearing, the Lone Ranger and Tonto stealthily crept toward the cliff. Suddenly, they heard the sound of the tunnel door being raised, saw a patch of light from the interior of the corridor, and the tarpaulin unfold. Hugging the wall in the murky darkness outside the circle of light, they listened as the night raiders conversed about the new cattle thief they were about to stage on Jeff Holland's herd. Then, waiting while the outlaws crossed the stream, and with Ace in their lead disappearing into the night, the masked man and the Indian crept toward the secret panel. Meanwhile, inside the tunnel, Flint taunted Peggy with her father's death. You're lying. <laughs> don't you wish I was? I don't believe him, Peggy. The Lone Ranger wouldn't let anything happen to your dad. Uh, he couldn't stop his redskin sidekick from swallowing quicksand. Tonto? I don't believe it. <laughs> Suit yourself, sonny. Well, Tonto isn't, Daddy. He can't be. Yeah, both of them. So I'm sinking in that muck with my own eyes. He's lying, Dan. Oh, I thought I knew how low you could go, Flint, but this beats everything I've imagined. Button your lip. I don't care if it did leave him mired in quicksand. The Lone Ranger'd find a way to get him out. I know he would. Believe what which... oh, is it coming back. Lift your hands, Flint. The Lone Ranger. Huh? You heard me. He got him. Oh, Tonto. I, I knew you were alive. I, I knew it. It's quicksand. Drop your gun belt to the floor. Oh, sure, I'll I'll drop it. Don't reach for that gun. Oh, you'd like to blow my hand. Here's my rope, Tonto. Tie him up. Uh, Are you all right, Peggy? Oh, yes, I'm all right, but Dad... How... Your father's safe. Oh, You'll see him soon. Thank goodness. Uh, me finish. Good. Now we'll leave Flint and do a little exploring. 
Some time later that Flint, straining at the rope which bound him, heard the return of the rustlers with the stolen chattel. Uh, that's the boys coming now. As soon as they cut me loose from this hemp, we'll finish that mess coyote proper and pawn it. Hurry up, boys! We gotta work fast! Turn them stairs down the tunnel! Ace! Flint, what's happened? Where's Peggy and the kid? The Lone Ranger's been here. The Lone... Get me out of this hemp. Get up! Hurry! Hey, who's that? Ain't it our boys? No, they're herding steers through the tunnel. Right by the tunnel, man. Hey, that sounds like the sheriff. And a posse. Come on, let's get out of here. We can't go this way. The sheriff will nab us. We'll have to follow the steers to the other end of the tunnel. They've cut off the other end of the tunnel, too. Yeah, somebody's stampeding the steers back this way. Come on, Silver. Burn them, big fellow. It's him, the Lone Ranger. We'll have to hightail it out of this. Come on. Come on, me, men. Don't let our boss stay. Too late, Flint. We're surrounded. You're dying too, Pia. You're under arrest, Ace. Your whole gang with you. Let me get my hands on Flint. Oh, no, no, no. Don't let him hit me, Chef. you got to protect me. Take this, you double-crossing stuff. Oh. oh, Dad. Dad, are you all right? Of course I'm all right, Peggy. What about you? Oh, Dad, everything's all right. Thanks to the Lone Ranger. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>